Welcome back. Time for a new commission series. I have a pair of dog portraits that I'm going to be working on now. These are for one of my friends who has commissioned me for a number of awesome portraits of all of her different dogs. So if you're wondering, this kind of dog is called an Ibizan Hound or an Ibizan Hound, depending on who you ask. They are from Spain and they have roots all the way back to ancient Egypt. I happen to have a number of these dogs myself, so I love getting commissions for my breed, which is a little bit more of a rare breed. All right, so this is a female, and she is predominantly white with a little bit of red. So we're going to start off by using a nice white color. I'm going to be using a combination of Copic markers, Prismacolor markers, my Touch 5s, and my Ohuhu markers. So I'm going to begin with green gray. And for these larger pet portraits, I'm going to use the bold brush tip. So already I've laid out where my eye shine is, so I know kind of where my light is coming from. It's coming from this way. So I'm going to go ahead and start here on the ears and start laying out some very light gray where she'll be white. So our breed has some... considerations when making art of them because in their standard which is the written kind of record of how they're supposed to look and what is and isn't acceptable when you show them as most of these doggies are show dogs the written standard says there's no black pigment allowed on these dogs so if you look instead of using black ink to create this piece of artwork I used like a terracotta kind of reddish brown ink which is a natural color to our breed and this gray is totally dying on me which is not cool gray not cool what do I have that's close to this this is one of those colors that I did not get any replacements for Whew, I'm sorely lacking in light gray tried to prepare myself but apparently not well enough all right we'll have to swap to a slightly darker gray and just roll with it all right, this one is warm gray, which shouldn't change it too much. We'll just work right in with that. There we go. So these dogs are absolutely beautiful, but I am not the best at recreating photos of things. I prefer to draw from my head. You know, so I'm not that big on drawing with references, but I do enjoy drawing the dogs. So when people ask, I always say yes, because it's a lot of fun and I love doing artwork of my breed. They are such beautiful dogs. And they're very much unlike a lot of the other dogs out there. Now, Beethoven Hound is a sight hound, which means that unlike a bloodhound or a beagle or a foxhound that use their noses to hunt and track. The Ibizan Hound actually uses their eyes, which is a very cool way for them to hunt, hence the term sight hound. They are considered a hound because of that aspect of their hunting, but they're kind of like related to the Greyhound. They're a very lean, very muscular, fast dog, but they're also very silly and clown-like. So they are a really neat breed. Very fun. They do have some considerations, again, because they are a, a big dog and a very athletic dog. So they can jump six feet wide and six feet high. So you got to have a proper yard situation to uh, have these doggies. They are big jumpers and big runners. All right, we are just laying in our white here. Trying not to get too heavy with this since I don't quite have the color that I want. Let me see how this color compares. Yeah, that's even darker. Why don't you die on me, marker? I need you. Let's see if I can get a little bit more out of it to soften up these grays. Otherwise, I might finally be pulling out a color of splendor. Which I don't believe I have used yet. I'm not sure how that will work with the inking that I've done on here, which is done with a micron. Sometimes microns bleed a little bit. Let 
Yeah, there's barely any color coming out of this. Alright, plan B. What have I got in my Prismacolors? I've got a 40% cool gray. Could have sworn I had at least a 30. This is why you buy extra markers to make sure you always have what you need. That should be a 60%. Yes, it is. Why am I not finding here? Let's see how that compares. Yeah, that's still too dark. Well, we roll with it, though, don't we? This is still going to look beautiful when we're done with it. It's just a little hard when you have a dog that's all white because it has a different, different kind of formula to think about than when I do the red dogs. This is a very expressive dog. Since she's all white, we want to make sure that we get that expression in there. So I have two doggy portraits that I need to do, and then I have a new piece of art that is an Eclipse Fairy that I'm going to be working on soon. And those will be my next couple of Commission Sunday pieces, which I will work on until they're done, and then we'll see what comes next. I'm also doing Inktober, if you did not see that video, which is a monthly drawing challenge where you ink something with your pens every single day for the entire month of October. And a lot of artists like to work that in with Drawloween, which is to draw something Halloween themed every day in October. I will most likely be trying to pair those two together so I can kind of two birds, one stone it by drawing and then inking something Halloween related every day. Which again, if you did not see the last video, you can follow my progress on all of that on my Instagram channel, which is GeekyBot. And if you don't have Instagram, but you have Facebook, I also have a Facebook page, which is also GeekyBot. And I will post all of my updates to both of those. Ooh, there's a scratchy marker. All right, I think I'm gonna go ahead and cap the video here as soon as I finish just this last little bit of gray tone. Make sure it's all even across this piece. I'm not worried too much about getting into my little markings there because that is all going to be a pretty beezer red. And that will all be colored over anyway, so we're not going to worry about it. There we go. Oh, this is going to look so good. Alrighty. Alright, I'm going to go ahead and cut the video off here, and I will see you guys next time. Have a great weekend.